fiancés, family or toxic ingrates. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Mugginess. I've been a counsellor for over 20 years and I specialise in personality disorders. I'll be pointing out red flags and speculating on what personality disorder the OP might be dealing with. Dear Agnes, I'm engaged to Noah and this was the first Christmas I spent with his family. We're getting married in February and expecting our first child together in May. Being someone who has no family and seeing how close he is with his family, I wanted to make sure I showed my appreciation of them with very thoughtful gifts. One of his sisters loves to read, so I made a book sleeve with details from all of her favourite books. One of his nieces is on the spectrum and has wanted clothes for her cuddly toy, so I made clothes for her to put on the toy. His mum went on about a jewellery box that she said she'd liked. I bought his dad a big photo frame and put family photos in it for his office, for his whole family, because he said he didn't have any room for individual frames. I bought his sister her favourite makeup because she said she couldn't afford it. I got his brother a signed piece of sports memorabilia from his favourite team. For the rest of his nibblings, I bought wish list items that their parents weren't getting. No, I thought they would love everything, but he told me I didn't need to go to all that effort. I spent weeks tracking everything down. But when Christmas Day came, I could tell something was off. I spent the whole time worrying that I'd bought them the wrong things and they didn't like them anymore, but they said nothing. But the next day they asked Noah what I was thinking and was I some kind of stalker buying them such personalised items when I'm almost a stranger to them. We saw them the next day and apologised for the gifts and told them I would be more mindful in the future and offered to make it up to them. One of his sisters called me a stalker to my face and told me that it was no wonder my family didn't want me if I was so creepy to do stuff like that. Noah yelled at her and I, and I, I apologised again and told them I didn't want to hurt anyone and I would learn from this. They told me I'd overstepped. Noah said we were leaving and that they owed me an apology. I feel so bad. Noah is supporting me and told me I did nothing wrong but surely there wouldn't be so much offence if that were true. I need to ask if I'm the muggy. My reply, what a lovely, kind and thoughtful person you are. Unfortunately, you're wasting your thoughtfulness on total muggies who enjoy pe putting people down because they're toxic. You're definitely not the muggy, but I'm guessing you're a codependent and that's why you're so lovely and that you've cut your family off because they're toxic. You don't owe them the steam of your, off of your business, let alone, a, alone an apology. I'm glad Noah has got your back. People who aren't supported by their partner don't have a good relationship. I suggest you rethink inviting these obnoxious ingrates to your wedding and suggest you go low contact from now on. See video number 41 for Grey Rock Method to help you with low contact. Please don't doubt yourself. They're the problem, not you. Look up code groups in your area or read Codependency for Dummies by Dar Darlene Lancer or maybe go to counselling. Check out videos number 3 and 69 for more information on being a codependent. Good luck OP. Enjoy your wedding and your baby. But remember, don't spoil them.